Web rumors ran wild Wednesday as the world's media focused on one man's every word. Nope, not President Obama and his first State of the Union address. Instead, for many, the spotlight shined brightest on Apple CEO Steve Jobs as he unveiled the company's tablet computer, the iPad. Eric Benderoff of BendableMedia.com joins us with his insights to separate the hype from the truth on this new product. Eric, thank you for, so much for being here. My pleasure, Paul. Now, before the announcement, you were skeptical whether the iPad could really change the game like the iPod has done for digital music players, the iPhone has done for smartphones. Is there anything here that has you changing your mind? Well, I think this will be a very, very interesting product, but I don't think it's a game changer. It's a game changer in the sense that people are now paying attention to tablet-style computers and we've already seen earlier this year from the Consumer Electronics Show that a number of companies are also working on tablet type devices. So we're going to see a lot of tablets. Now, is this a revolutionary product? In one sense, I think it is because the pricing is fantastic. It starts at $499 uh, to buy the base level model with 16 gigabytes. Uh, it also has network connection, Wi-Fi plus 3G. And the 3G will start at $15 a month if you elect to subscribe to that. So that aspect of it, I think, is revolutionary. The iPad itself um, seems to be not much more than an iPod Touch or an iPhone on steroids. Yeah, now talking about that connectivity, uh, CEO Steve Jobs said that Apple is now a mobile device company with this uh, unveiling of the iPad. And taking a look at sales numbers from iPods, or excuse me, Apple's other big products, the uh, iPhone sold 8.7 million in the last quarter of 2009. That was up 50%. Uh, MacBook laptops also up big 20%. iPod down a little bit. So will this iPod really cannibalize sales from uh, Apple's other products, or is this creating a whole new market segment? I think it's creating a whole new market segment. You know, in, in particular with the iPod. The iPod, while they announced you know, on Wednesday that they've sold 250 million iPods, that rate is slowing down. So now you've got a device that could be considered a alternative to the iPod. Um, and I think it will probably, people who are looking to upgrade their iPod might be interested in getting the iPad now. So from that standpoint, it will you know, perhaps increase Apple's overall sales, maybe cannibalize new iPod sales. But you know, Apple keeps innovating in many different ways. And I'm sure very soon we'll see you know, a newer and more interesting version of the iPod. Now, talking about uh, tablet computers, uh, Amazon's Kindle has been sort of the market leader in that segment. Amazon's stock moved up about 1% on the news. But also, uh, CEO Jeff Bezos has never said what Kindle's sales have been. And he says that maybe he'll never say how important the Kindle is to Amazon's business. But given uh, Apple's success in the past, should they be worried about uh, the iPad and its impact on Kindle sales? Well, I think they should be worried because clearly people are going to be looking at this device as something, you know, why should I get the Kindle if I can get the iPad and it will do more than just, you know, be an e-reader. Um, but, you know, Amazon might have a pricing advantage. The Kindle is $259 right now. There's a good chance that maybe it'll go to $190, $199 as a competitive, you know, way to... to price competition price, right price there. And taking Apple. a look at uh, the price numbers on the iPad, uh, really um, reasonable as you, uh, maybe reasonable for some, $499 for the cheapest model and $829 for the largest memory and 3G. So given that, uh, do I need an iPad? Eric? No, I don't no. think you need an iPad. <laughs> I think you might want an iPad, but if you have an iPod Touch, if you have an iPhone, you do not need an iPad. You, again, you may want one, though. Well, it'll be out in 60 days or so. Eric Benderoff of BendableMedia.com, thank you very much for your insights. Sure, Paul.